a uh, very good morning students in today's class i'll be talking about the cation test for group 4 now group 4 of salt analysis has got four cations cobalt nickel zinc and manganese cobalt and nickel are deeply colored salt cobalt maroon nickel green and i already have these two confirmatory tests on my channel so you can have a look i'll also put it in the description box coming to the other two the other two are zinc and manganese out of which zinc also is on my channel i'll put it up in the description box but for reference sake i'll still do zinc the reason i'll be doing zinc is that for the salt of zinc and for the salt of manganese when we talk about zinc and manganese you have zinc salt is white while the manganese salt is a baby pink colored salt so at times you do not get to know by looking at the salt so we'll first do the test for manganese take a pinch of salt you can use a spatula i am avoiding it in the pinch of salt you can add water to make the os that becomes your os as you can see to this os take a little pinch of salt don't take huge amounts of salt to this pinch of salt add water this is clear in case you do not get it cleared then please add a little amount of dilute hcl to clear otherwise you may not even do it the test would perform so add a little amount of dilute hcl to clear it up so it is cleared now instead of going to the procedure this step is only in case you are getting stuck with cation analysis this is a shortcut to cation analysis and to verify so to the os add hcl followed by the magic reagent that is sodium sulfide now where do we have the sodium sulfide this is your sodium sulfide on adding sodium sulfide have a look you get a buff colored ppt buff is this fleshy peachish or beigeish colored precipitate which confirms your manganese moving to zinc for zinc the confirmatory test what i would be doing is this is your zinc salt i am taking small amount of zinc salt to this i'll be adding distilled water to make the os once this os is done to this os i have two tests that you can perform divide it into two parts to one part add any two s you get a dirty white ppt for zinc while to the second part add k4 fecn6 and you would get a ppt which is greenish black in color this confirms your zinc this was your manganese with the buff colored ppt so this was your group 4 of cations now what we would be doing now is in case you are given a copper salt normally copper salts are not given in group 2 you have in cbsa you have a copper salt copper salt looks like this deep blue in color this copper salt you make the os with water to the os group 1 would be tested first we just take another test tube group 1 needs to be tested first so you add dilute hcl to it this is your dilute hcl there is no ppt shows group 1 absent that is lead is absent to this instead of adding h2s you can add sodium sulfide and you would get a black ppt of copper sulfide you can also do another confirmatory test for copper which again requires your original solution which is this to this original solution you can add k4 fecn6 on adding k4 fecn6 to the original solution of copper you get a chocolate brown ppt so for copper my advice is this would be your os which would be blue in color to this os you add dilute hcl to check for the presence of lead which will not be there because copper salts are colored then to the os after adding hcl you are adding sodium sulfide you get a black ppt of copper sulfide after which you can confirm it by adding potassium ferrocyanide to the os and you get a chocolate brown ppt so your magic reagents are sodium sulfide and potassium ferrocyanide for these tests lastly we would also do the test for lead after this particular video i'll be uploading a video on the test of lead 
please keep checking the videos, signing in, try to subscribe if you like them. So these are the methods which are a shortcut. These are not the regular method. These are shortcuts for salt analysis so that you get your confirmed salt cation. Fine. All the best. Do well in your practicals. Bye.